Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. Uh, this, there is a there is a real wall between the last episode and this one. There's there's a lot involved, but um, basically, I was really the, what happens in this episode really kind of pushed me through that because I was like I, I can't I can't not get this up. There's some there's some really really good stuff in this. So we're we're, we're doing farming and there's some fun stuff. Uh, to do with farming. I mean, it, it's exactly what you expect. Well, maybe maybe not, actually. Uh, we got our pickaxe, obviously. But, uh, yeah, farming, they... Like, this game kind of blows my mind with, like, how much uh, realism it throws in. Um, for better or for worse, I mean, sometimes realism can isn't necessarily super fun but uh, I do appreciate the challenges that you have to overcome and so in like for instance cooking meals although cooking meals in this uh, I think could be a little bit more intuitive but uh, as you can see I'm, I'm struggling here I don't quite understand how it works just yet but uh, yeah farming um, soil has a fertility level um, I mean, this is true in real life, right? You gotta, you gotta get some lime in there, uh, you know, the, the the mineral, not the not the juice, uh, and some and some bone meal and all kinds of stuff. Uh, maybe not, well, you know, calcium and stuff like that. You gotta you gotta enrich the soil so you can, so you can grow some crops properly. Uh, some nitrogen. I don't know how you, how you get the nitrogen in there. I don't know. You could like ground up some some bugs I suppose I don't know like I, I'm not a farmer I, I know literally nothing about agriculture um except that you put lime in there listen I got that from anime don't 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 be upset with me okay so uh we're preserving some soup and pres uh, food preservation is something you really do have to learn because I haven't really talked about it much but basically uh 70 days from the start of the game uh winter begins so that's kind of scary. Um, we, uh, I finally realized that I can make a ladder. Ladders are going to be useful. I'm sure for more things than just this, but for now I decided to make a cellar um, so that I could uh, potentially preserve our, our food, our soup. I did finally figure out soup, by the way. You basically, I mean, you wanna, if you want to make like vegetable soup, just basic vegetable soup, it's just two of the same vegetable there's other things you can do you can throw other ingredients in there as well but um to get a basic soup uh two vegetables and you will um you know you will be rewarded for that because you will get a bit more stamina from that soup than you would otherwise from like just the basic vegetables i don't know if you can use uh cooked cattails that's something i haven't really tried to do just yet but I am, I'm just cooking these mushrooms and we'll see uh, foreshadowing later how this eventually kind of bites me in the butt a little bit because, uh, well, I guess I'll, I'll spoil it. Not all mushrooms are super edible. So um, it, it kind of like, you're gonna see me use the pickaxe a lot this episode um, for better or worse. Oh yeah, our, our rye died. So this is me learning how farming works. You know how farming works? You put your seeds in the ground and in most games, you're just kind of like, yeah, that, they're good now. They're just going to grow into food. Uh, not so in this in this game. Uh, the local uh, animals will have their way with your plants if you leave them untended. So I built a fence. Uh, this is a rickety, like bad, shoddy fence, but uh, it was it, it will do the job. Get some more clay. I had I have a lot of things to fire um, so that I can write. Light temporal storm is imminent. Um, this this becomes one of the most like devastating sagas I can imagine in this series. As you can see, the temporal storm is terrifying. Um, it really kind of messes with your screen, and and it's not just I mean like. Besides the, the the kind of disturbing visuals, there's a lot of disturbing sounds that happen as well. Uh, what follows is me hoveled into my house, and we can see the 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 enemies that are spawned in the tem temporal sp storm. I almost died here. Like honestly, I'm I'm amazed that I managed to kind of like push them back through the hole and and block it up. But um, there's so many so many creatures around you you, you like we'll, we'll have a, a sample coming up i think 
but um, there's so many monsters around that I don't dare go outside there. And it, you know, look at that. Like I can't even go to sleep to pass the time because um, if while the temporal storm is happening, it just says, if you go to sleep, you will die. You will literally die. So um, I decided to try and uh, bunker down and you can hear the, you can hear the monsters. And my frantic clicking as I'm trying to trying to just get some food in me and trying to survive. Yeah, so bunker down and um, try to figure things out. How how to survive this situation? Um, it's it's a lot. So I decide to make a sword. Right, that makes sense. Right, we're gonna need some better defense, uh, something better to attack with. Our health isn't doing really good right now because of uh, the onslaught I had to kind of push back through our, our quotation marks door. Um, but for now, we're just trying to trying to get things together. We have enough food. Fortunately, I figured out soup and preserved a bunch of it before this started. So we do have food. I decided uh, I will risk punching a hole in the roof. I don't think I followed through with it this time. I just wanted to see what time of day it was. But um, later, this is going to become a, a lot more of a thing. We, uh, I do, like, I, I did at a certain point build our hovel to be a little tiny bit of a watchtower. And it does actually function as such. We can see the enemies and if, you know, if we had a bow, we could shoot them without uh, much danger. So I believe, yeah, here's, here I am um making use of our ladders i actually pull them back out of the ground uh, out of our cellar and take a peek to see what's up the temporal storm has um already passed there's no more monsters spawning but um there's still like so many monsters nearby i think this was just a sunset but it was just so eerie after that storm um yeah you can see it. Th that creature is not as big as it looks it's just very close uh, but yeah, there's, there's so many creatures nearby. You can't even, like, I, I would like say probably up to like 12 or 13, 14 monsters nearby. You can't even like really count them all. And, uh, I'm just like, I have no idea what I'm going to do here. So, uh, I get back to trying to work on our sword. Um, but there's another problem, uh, kind of poking its head. First of all, there's the, there's the mushroom soup. Uh, ruining my day and my health uh, back to zero basically so I'm back in the danger zone um, we are out of wood I, I don't have any more wood to um, basically finish the, the 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 pit kiln for the sword so I, I can't make the sword and besides not being able to make the sword I can't even like light fires and stuff like I can't, like, I mean, I don't really have any food, but... So I decided to dig our cellar um, and, try and, and try and improve our situation by whipping rocks. I was like, uh, you know, I figured they'll, they'll, uh, they'll enjoy a taste of their own medicine, maybe. And um, I basically spend close to, I don't know, half an hour whipping rocks at, at these dwellers to try and whittle them down. I did actually manage to kill a couple of them, but those rocks really don't do basically any damage and besides you know taking forever this is also using up our, our pickaxe which is just like a huge bummer because i just got it and i really i really was looking forward to using it to get actual copper chunks which is something that you know yet another thing i'm gonna have to deal with later but yeah this is this is our plan this is the plan right now is whipping rocks at dwellers i never thought i'd see the day this game really succeeds at being like a survival game it, it uh it really makes me feel again like you know i have to survive you know the actual world and not just you know uh, creepers or uh you know it like it it feels like something i have to weather against so here's here's the big break i decide to risk it all and uh, i mean not that there's any penalty for death really i mean the worst penalty about death is that you lose half your stamina but i decide to book it for the woods so i can get some wood so i can finish the pit kiln so i can eventually have a sword and then uh you know clear the 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 creatures around my house um but here's the odd thing here's the thing that's strange i get back and the monsters are all gone 
They've all completely disappeared. And I don't know if maybe they just despawned. I don't know what that's about, but I guess they just despawned. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess, you know, the problem just kind of sorts itself out. Later, um, I do have another problem to deal with concerning monsters, but for now I'm able to finish the pit kiln and uh, maybe give myself a weapon to deal with uh, in the future. Finally free from, from like, you know, have a, have a moment to breathe from creatures, I, uh, I need to make another storage container because um, inventory management is increasingly becoming an issue. Um, and yeah, the creatures are back. There's not as many of them this time, but they're, they're there and there's a few of them. Um, so this becomes kind of an ongoing, on and off going problem. Um, I finally discovered that I accidentally tanned some leather. I know it's not tanned, but you know, oiled. I, I cured it basically into a pelt. And uh, this will lead to me trying to figure out how to make a hunter backpack and get enough pelts to um, basically make hunter backpacks. Hunter backpacks will become uh, important because they slightly increase our inventory space, which would be very helpful. Um, so here's here's just the madness of me trying to like take out all of the creatures near our house. And I do a pretty good job. I think I maybe only take like one hit here after fighting like three or four or five of these dwellers. I might honestly might not have even taken any hits, but yeah. So dwellers are becoming less and less really of a, of a threat to me, although the, some of the bigger ones are still nasty. So we finally get our first copper chunk from, uh, from mining. It's amazing to me, we're at like, what, episode four? And I've only now done our first little bit of mining. And you didn't see it there maybe, or maybe you caught it. Uh, copper chunks are not like copper nuggets. They require a hammer. They're yet another problem for us to deal with. We have to make a copper hammer so that we can crush the um, copper chunks into copper nuggets so that we can smelt them. That's a lot. That's a lot. I find that to be like when I when I figured like found that out I was like wow that's that's insane the, the hammer will become useful for other things so it's not really a big problem if it was only for that I would say that feels kind of needless and, and unnecessary but fortunately the hammer is super useful for other things which we'll get to in the future uh, you know get to firing the uh, the the storage container and um, get to making some more charcoal because I am starting to run out. And if I'm going to be doing more smelting, I'm going to need more charcoal. Eventually we'll get a coke oven and charcoal won't be nearly as much of a thing. I finally discover we can make a door. And I don't have to keep replacing the, the, our, our, the front of our house with dirt blocks. However, the door comes with its fair share of problems. Um... Well, really just one problem. It's occasionally it breaks when I use it. And honestly, it's hilarious. I don't think I want to get rid of that. <laughs> it really is funny. Like I just like, you know, open the door and it just breaks off and, and turns back into an item. So, uh, you know, now, now that we have a moment to breathe away from creatures and dealing with stuff and, and mining, um, it's, you know, time to get back to what's kind of important, which is exploration finding some stuff got to find some more uh copper so we can finally finish our yeah so hopefully in the next episode we'll finally be able to make our sword but uh please enjoy this clip of me enacting my re revenge on the rabbits that were that had their way with my crops how are the crops doing crops doing okay probably not aha rabbits Idiot rabbits, there's a fence in the way. The fence has been your undoing, rabbits.